Welcome. Let's today take a look how the bind mount work in Docker. It's a very important concept that allow us to have a shared directory between the host operational system and the Docker container. Bind mount is different than volume. Volume can just be managed by Docker. We cannot edit that directly um, by the host operational system. So for situations where we would like, for instance, have some kind of web application and edit the source code using our local IDEs or script editors and have this code automatically bind and executed in a container, the bind mount is a very good approach. So let's see how to use that. First of all, let me take here one example. Here what we have. We have then the docker run command that will create a new container based in this image. And in this case, we'll make a redirect for this port from container to this port of the host operational system. It will be executed the test. It means not uh, as a, a front end in the, in the console. And here, then we give a name, but here is where we create the bind map. Um, here is the place in the container, the directory will be linked. And here is the place in my local computer, this directory will, will be linked. So this local directory will be linked to this remote or inside container directory. This AO means read only and means inside container it's read only, but outside it's writable. Okay. So um, in my example, we have to create now a new project, a new directory in C directory named my project. So we just have to do that now. We are here in C, then I create here the my project. So now this path exists and then we can execute that this way. And here the port, I don't know if I already used that before. I could then use this another one, the um, 8090. Um, will be okay. So let's execute that now. So here is my console or not. Where is that? Okay, I open another one. CMD. Okay, here we are. Let's make that, that zoom bigger. Then the code will be easier to read. And then let's execute that. So basically here, we could give a new name to this to this container, it could be ngx um, with binding with bind mount, and then it should be executed. And now we have a new container created. Let's see if you execute Docker container container ls. Oops, it's not found. Yes, now it is, it's here. Um, here is the um, container we have just created that's redirecting to this port. Okay, this port, um, we could test that, trying to access that from our local computer. So here, if you open Chrome and try here, localhost, localhost, and then the port we have just redirected, it gives us this message forbidden. Why we have this message? Because the directory is empty. It's empty. We could validate that in two ways. First of all, look into our local directory. That's it's bind. It has no content here. But if you don't believe, you could then connect in the in the um, container and take a look. We have just changed here the container we are connecting to. So we have created a new container that has this ID, so we can copy this ID. We can copy this ID and then we are going to connect on that. So I can replace here. It's both instructions I share with you. It, it will be available in comments then. Okay, now we can connect on that. So it will open here the, the console for, for our Linux server. And then we could, could open the directory we have 
make the bind user share index HTML. So let's go user share index HTML. It's here. No content, right? No content. But now let's try one thing. Let's try open here the directory in our local computer in our host operational system and create here a new file. We could name that index dot html and then we could edit that with your favorite editor okay so i use my notepad here and then you could then write just some html code here just for examples put those html then some content here we could use directly the body tag Okay, and let's see what will happen with this file inside the container. Here is bind mount directory, bind mount directory, example. Right, we save that. Once you have saved that, you could then see a new file will be created here inside the container because it's mounted. So the content is the same. And now we have content here. We could then open again our browser and try to access and the content is here. So it's very simple to edit the code. Okay, here's the instructions. We could open again the, the file. We could edit that more one time. And then we could add more, more content. We could change that to one title okay could that change that to to title and it's okay now we just save it and just by saving it automatically is in the container and the content here is updated so here is the goal of this video show to you how to use the bind mount very simple just use this minus v parameter when executing docker, docker run um, it's not the same as a volume, it's a bind mount, uh, and, but it has the benefit that we can edit that in our local computer. So very simple to use and to work. Hope you have enjoyed this video and see you next time.